Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're here today with another challenge video. Um, so I'll tell you about that in just a few minutes. So let's get to the craft desk and get started. All right, here we go with DIY number one. Now for this first DIY, I got this chicken from uh, Antique Mall. And it was in a set of stuff that was uh, three things for $10. And so I'm going to take and redo this. And I'm going to take all the stickers off of it. Now after I get it all cleaned up, I'm going to take and paint my base and the little peg that this uh, rooster is standing on with the black chalk paint. And then I will paint the body with white chalk paint. Now the next thing I'm going to do after this is painted with the white chalk paint and it's gotten good and dry, I take this napkin that I got in a napkin exchange we were doing. I'm sorry, I don't remember who actually sent this one, but whoever it was, if you see this napkin, thank you very much because I love it. And I'm going to take and put Mod Podge down and start placing this napkin all over my little rooster until he's completely covered. And then after I get it completely covered, I Mod Podge it again and let that dry. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white chalk paint and I am going to go along this little base and distress it because it was blue underneath. I don't want to sand because that blue may come through. Now, if I wanted to sand, what I should have did was took and put white down first and then put the black over the top of it and use my sanding block on it to sand it back but since I didn't do that I am touching this up and making it look distressed and once I get that done we will see this at the final reveal now this is the challenge it's the what would you make open invite challenge and every month we do this and we have to choose items that are made out of wood and redo them and the host is okay at home DIY Connie's Creative Creations, and the guest host this month is Brenda over at Rustic and Lace DIY. Y'all go check out these ladies' channels, check out the channels, check out the playlist, because there's a bunch of awesome crafters doing crafts, and you sure don't want to miss them. And let's get on with the video. Now here we go with DIY number two. Now for this DIY, we found this little barn in the same place we found that little rooster. We're going to clean off all the tags and it did come from an antique mall and it was these items were three for ten and so these are two of the items that I picked that day. We're going to clean off all the stickers and then we are going to clean this up and paint it completely black with our black chalk paint from the Dollar Tree. Now after my paint is all dry, I'm going back in there with my sanding block and I'm sanding it all the way down until I get it to the wood because I want the wood look, not the blue that was underneath. And then once I get this sanded and dusted off, then we're going to embellish it. Now for our first little embellishment, we're going to take this little wheelbarrow we got from the Dollar Tree. We're going to paint it uh, brown and then we're going to paint the silver parts uh, white and we're going to put it in here on our little barn and then we're going to that didn't work out like I wanted it to so we're going to take it back off clean up the glue and start over we're going to put some E6000 on the bottom of it and some hot glue stick it back down and then we are going to take this little flower pot that I stained brown add some little flowers to it and then we're going to glue that down to this little project and then we'll add a few other embellishments and we will see this at the final reveal now here we go with DIY number three now for this one I got this wooden rooster from the Dollar Tree I got these molds out Now I did a cow this way so I wanted to do the chicken to match it and soon we'll be doing the pig to match it too because I just love this and I wanted a matching set of all of them. So I'm going to take my air dry clay that's made by Crayola and I'm going to stick it down in my mold and then, then pull it out and then clean up the edges on it and I will do the same with the other mold as well. 
Now, once I have all my little mold pieces cut out, I took and glued them down. Now, I didn't go in depth and show you how I did all of that, but I took one of those, uh, I'm going to paint the whole chicken and the bottom base in black uh, chalk paint, but that bottom is made out a, of the strips of mold that were in that long mold set and then I just glued everything down with Aileen's tacky glue and let it get good and dry. I didn't let the, the clay dry but I let the glue dry if that makes sense and then once it was dry then we're going in here and we're painting this with the black chalk paint. Then after I get done with that then once that's dry, I'm going to take my white chalk paint and I'm going to dust the edges of all of the raised parts that I added to this. And this turns out absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I'm going to do the base as well. And we will see this at the final reveal. Now, this is the challenge. It's the What Would You Make Open Invite Challenge. And every month we do this and we have to choose items that are made out of wood and redo them. And the host is OK at Home DIY, Connie's Creative Creations, and the guest host this month is Brenda over at Rustic and Lace DIY. You'll go check out these ladies' channels, check out the channels, check out the playlist, because there's a bunch of awesome crafters doing crafts, and you sure don't want to miss them. And let's get on with the video. Now at this time we'd like to thank our subscribers. We love you bunches. And here we go with the final reveal. All right, y'all, we're back from the craft test and then these turn out so cute now if you like our content subscribe and that way you don't miss another episode of the crafty art shack because we're always doing something fun always trying something new and always doing crazy things <laughs> so you guys subscribe if you're not subscribed it's free and we'll see you in the next episode of the crafty art shack we'll see you later bye <laughs> turn out just adorable that little those little dupes um i think yeah something i think something i sure do <laughs> all right y'all we're back from the craft desk and look at these isn't this absolutely gorgeous for a little tear tray sitter and i love that rooster and i love the chicken as well and i'm sure that my daughter is going to love them too so you guys if you like this content subscribe if you're already subscribed thank you bunches we love you bunches and if you like this content subscribe yeah i said that already subscribe 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 <laughs> i messed up all right y'all we're back from the craft desk and didn't these turn out absolutely gorgeous I love this one. I love the rooster and I love the little chicken and I'm <laughs> and I'm <laughs> what did I do that? All right y'all give us that big thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Bye!